And then right before that week was over, I got another call back again from that same owner to tell me that me and Javon are quote unquote fired, you know? And so I'm like, like, what the heck? Like, what happened? And then I started asking him, you know, what was going on? Like, what's the reason for me and Javon being let go? And so he didn't really want to tell me, but we all basically just, you know, weren't insured anymore because whoever that driver was caused an accident. With that being said, that's the reason why me and Javon are no longer working right now. And I have my ideas, I have my reasonings, and I kind of know who that person was. I have an idea in regards to who caused that accident, and at this point in time, I think it's Bobby Reach. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, Bobby Reach back in the building. <laughs> I'm back. All I'm right. Back. My G is deal? back in the building. So, man, right. I mean, it's it's so it's so much that's going on with you right now, man. I mean, you know, I mean, it's so much going on with you right now. So a couple of people in the in the comment section uh right. is 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 like leaving comments and and they, I, I guess they kind of like upset with me because of the uh, of, of the soft conversation that we had. And I'm like, right. you know, I'm like, well, I'm not privy to all the other stuff that's going around that's that's circling you. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't right. know, I, I I didn't know about uh, D Raw until I had somebody sent me the video and now right. some now some new cat that just popped up over here hashtagging uh exposed Bobby Reach so Bobby man what's 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 going on my G what what what, what can my, you say my name out there my name on fire right now I love it that's what's up, man. So talk to me man what's 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 the deal with well we already we already spoke on uh, Daddy Raw. I mean, uh, you know, we, yeah. we don't have to go into too much detail about that. Uh, that that pretty much played out on uh, on Guilty's channel. But what's what's going on with this new cat? Uh, a B. What's 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 the deal with him, bro? Uh, we gonna call him H B for this for this podcast. We are gonna call him Ho Boy. We are gonna call him H B. We ain't gonna oh, we ain't gonna say uh, A B. His name is Ho Boy H B. Oh. Um, bro, to keep it simple, to keep it simple, um, bro is just mad because I didn't give him a shout out. He acting like a little hoe. That's all it is. Um, he referenced me to a job, right? The job that we both just worked at. Are you, are you still on the phone? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. You still hear me? Yeah, you, you good. Go ahead. Okay, cool, cool. He referenced me to a job, um, and for some odd reason, you know, that's that's why in life, for anyone who's listening right now, in life, don't ever take in, I'm not going to say a handout, don't take nothing. I don't care if it's food, I don't care if it's clothes, I don't care whatever it is, don't ever take nothing from another man or woman on this earth. And the reason why I say that is because no one, this is, this is a different generation. We don't come from the generation that people just did things out of the kindness of their heart and they left that that. Everyone, and I repeat, everyone is always thinking about what's in it for them. And not everyone, but most people have an ulterior motive. They do things and they try to act like they're sincere in, the, in their doing. But in reality, no, they always want something in return. And that's perfectly fine as human beings. So with that being said, HB is a person that worked with me for the same company not with me but for the same company mm -hmm. he's essentially the person who referenced me he referred me to the company that we both were just working at right right so he had he was under the impression that just because he referenced a company to me or he referred me to a company that i owed him something he 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 thought just because he told me about an opportunity that I was in debt to him or something like that on some weird shit. Um, now, here's the thing. 
I'm willing to compensate anyone who has done something for me, but I'm going to compensate in my own way. HB, however, wanted me to compensate in his way. And through his way was through giving him a shout out to a following that I literally worked hard to build. A following that I literally slaved for hours and hours and hours to come up with ideas and to and to literally record videos while, while I didn't want to record videos, but I still recorded videos to literally build my following to how it is right now so that I can, you know, do better and build my brand and ultimately, you know, do better for myself in life. So he wanted me to shout him out. And the reason why he wanted me to shout him out is in quotations because he wants to help people, right? He wants right. to help people. Right. So here's the thing. From the moment me and him have met, the moment he recommended me that opportunity, every single time me and him talked, it was always about, hey, man, could you give me a shout out? Could you give me a shout out? Hey, you know what? It's, it's not about the views. It's, it's not about none of that, man. I just want to, I want to shout out. I'm like, well, well, bro, if it's not about the views and it's not about my name, why are you asking for a shout out? Why are you seeming so thirsty over a shout out right now if it's not about the views? Every time I talk with him, Lockout, every time, it's always been about him a shout out. The last conversation that me and him had over the phone, I remember because I was in Boston. I literally was in Boston at a rest area. The last conversation me and him had, I was calling and I was asking about taxes, right? I was calling and asking him a question about taxing from a person who was actually working for the same company that we were with. Remind you, the company that we just got done working for is a 1099. I've never worked on a 1099 driving trucks before. So I was like, you know what? Let's call this guy because he's been here before and I have it. Okay. That conversation ended with, hey, man, could you give me a shout out? So I started thinking to myself, like, dog, like, I've, I've, I've shown you love many times in my life. Um, I've literally told people, like, hey, shout out, to, shout out to HB, like, bro, like, he looked out for me. Like, I don't know what live it is in particular, but I know for a fact, out of all my lives, which are three plus hours, five hours long, I'm not going to go back and listen to what I said over all that time. I've definitely showed him some love for showing me some love. But you think I, you going to, you think I owe you? I don't owe you shit. Period. Right, so let's. Just because you gave me. Go ahead. So let's, 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 let's go back for for a second. Let's, let's go back for a second. This, this, this. You call you call him that. I'll call him AB. <laughs> Listen, we gonna when, call him HB. When we gonna when, call him HB, but when, you can call him what you want to call him. When when did you, when how did you guys come into contact with each other? Man, we came into contact with each other like just how you came in contact with me. Everybody see me and my channel. They see me making noise. And there's no disrespect. They see they see me like. It's my platform. Everybody who's reaching out to me, that's how people reached out to me. So when I got when I got terminated from the Orange Company, he, like a dozen other people, reached out to me saying, hey, man, you know what? I'm sorry that you lost your job. Actually, he worked for the Orange Company, too. So he, he worked for them, and he quit in, like, two weeks, right? I worked for them, and I got terminated in, like, a month or some change. So he seen that video like everybody else did, and he reached out, which, again, I appreciate him for reaching out. But he wasn't the only one who reached out. It was many people who reached out to me in my email, uh, you know, extending a, a, a hand to help me get back employed. So HB got it in his mind that that if it wasn't for him, I would be out on the street or uh, living in my car. And so I'm like, dog, <laughs> do you do know who you're talking to, right? Like, bro, I appreciate you and, 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 and helping me with that opportunity, but don't act like I owe you something, like you saved my life, like I'd be out here hurting in these streets had you not reached out to me because you weren't the only one who reached out to me. And more importantly, when he did reach out to me, it was on some team and stuff. He wanted to team up with me. I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to team up with you right now, but hey, it is what it is. But at that time when he did reach out to me, I was already at prize orientation i got a video about that all right so so he reached so he reached out to you you he he must have chopped it up with the owner say hey you know i got this guy he he worked it at the orange company with me and i think he's a good dude to the brain going and that's how you linked up with with said company right 
Yes. Well, he reached out to me and my boy Tiki. He reached out to us both. So I'm not sure if you're aware of who Tiki is, but of course you are. Anyways, when I got fired, I was the one that got fired and terminated first, right? And, you know, because like the the driving with the GoPro stuff. So Tiki, he was doing the same thing. So I said, hey, Tiki, bro, they just fired me. I remember the first day I got fired, I called Tiki and was like, hey, bro, they fired me. If I was you, I would, I would, I'll be very, very cautious right now because if they fire me because of filming, it's, I guarantee you are on the radar. Long story short, lo and behold, they called Tiki. Tiki called me and was like, "Hey, yeah, bro, they're firing me." So when we, I made my, I made my, I just got fired video first. It kind of blew up. Everybody started hitting up my email. Tiki's video really blew up. To this day, that video almost got four hundred thousand views of him getting fired. And being that me and him are close, close acquaintances, right? that exposure kind of went back to my channel because we both worked at the first company. So listen to what I'm saying. This is all mm-hmm. attention right now. This is all exposure. Right, Everybody right. wants it to be seen for some odd reason. Everybody's seeing this right now. Everybody is seeing the wave we got going. It's, it's not really a wave, but people are seeing this. HB, he's seen that. So this is what I'm talking about. When he extended that, that, that opportunity to me. I'm like, okay, this is a cool guy. Maybe he's just looking out for me. Okay. The first time around, I kind of passed on the opportunity because at this point or at this particular time, I was at Pride Transport's orientation. Right. right. Got a video about it. Um, they ended up sending me home because, of course, when you get a couple uh, policy violation, they got to dig into your file a little bit more. And long story short, you know how it is. We're disposable. It's, you know, why go through all the trouble when you got somebody else here? You know, bye. We got to get rid of you. Peace right, out. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So when they when they told me that, when they literally said, "Hey, bro, it's over," um, I literally called AB. I'm like, "Hey, bro, is that uh is that opportunity still open?" He was like, "Nah, man, it's actually gone." But you know what? I'll I'll keep you uh posted and updated uh when something else comes by back through. I think it was probably like a week and some change, maybe even a week and some change. He got back to me. It was like. Hey, um, well, it's, it's an opportunity opening with the company. I guess somebody had got fired. No, I don't guess. I know somebody got fired. Somebody else got fired. And that opened up an opportunity for me to come to the company. Uh, I'm not going to say the company name. Right. I'm not going to say anything about the owner as of now. You know what I'm saying? But we we going to keep going. Keep going. Keep go ahead. Go, keep going. All right. So, A.B., yeah. so, so, A.B., uh, again, like I said, he, Chopped it up with the owner, said, Hey, I got, you know, I, I got this good dude. You know, he was at the orange company with me. I think he'll be a good asset. He he got you in. Obviously, he got you in because you you make videos from the company and everything. So of course, yeah. in, in the couple of videos, you, you of course you had to go out with uh, you know, to be trained and everything. Fast, fast forward to you leaving the company, uh, of course, you made, you know, you you came back with the, you know, I'm leaving the OTR. I think we we spoke on that. You know, you said about your core values and everything. But here, right. this man, he doesn't, he doesn't haul off and say that you was fired, but he's kind of referencing that you were because it was only three. And this tra- is why he's it was, it, it was he's only stuff. It, it was only three. He's tra- representing stuff. And yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, it, it was only three trucks, uh, him and some dude named Javon, the owner. And then there was you driving the other truck. So he's okay. referencing that it wasn't him and Javon. It wasn't the owner. So he's kind of like referencing you as being the person as getting okay. fired because of an accident. You you want to comment on that okay. or can you comment on that? Yeah, I do want to comment on that. I want to elaborate on that, but I want to go back. I want to go back a little bit. Go ahead. I want to go back a little bit. So this can make sense. And this is going to make, this is going to be the reason why he made this video. Cloud Chaser. Okay. So, I still got messages from bro. I got messages from bro. Um, so what had happened was when we find, when, when I decided to take the opportunity that he said was open for me, right? 
this is what brought me the wrong way about breath. The second, the second, um, I took that opportunity or maybe even before I took that opportunity, but more than likely before I even took that opportunity, what he did is he literally made, he took the first chance he got to make a video with me and my boy's cheeky name in it, telling the world or his, his little bitty subscriber base. He literally tried to tell people what he did for me and my boy. And I'm one of those type of people. I don't like when someone tries to do a good deed and then they have to tell the world about it because that makes it unsincere. I'm not going to go give money or feed the homeless and then literally make a whole video talking about how I fit fed the homeless and I did my, did my good duty for the day. So when he made that video, I was like, okay, cool. It is what it is. He's like everybody else. He's trying to use the name to grow his channel. It is what it is. Only thing that turned me off was the fact that we both know that I got a lot of people who don't like me on on the web. It is what it is. It comes with the territory. I don't care. Right? Right, so right, right. What happened was he literally made a video about me and he put the, he like almost exposed the company's name in his video. So I'm, I'm on live and I got trolls and my comments, talk, they're literally talking about the company that I'm working for. So if I didn't show him no love, and, and he wasn't trying to use my name. Why are people in my comments literally telling me what company I am working for before I even told the world what company I'm working for? To this day, I still have not told anyone what company I was working for. So that was that was the first thing. Um, the second thing is just every chance this dude got, he just always kept trying to ask me for a shout out. Like, dog, like, why are you so thirsty for a shout out? Why do you want me to shout you out so bad? Anyways, that's me. That's neither here nor there. Let's jump back to what you were just talking about, right? right? Right. The reason why he keeps referencing things, the reason why he keeps treading softly, the reason why he just keeps allegedly saying things is because he has no proof, and because it's a lot of stuff going on in the background, and I'm not guilty of anything yet. I literally posted my driver's abstract a couple of days ago. I'm not sure if you've seen it or not. Didn't have anything on my record. I have no, nothing on my record right now. Only thing I have on my record is simply, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen the video, got like almost 2 million views. It's the video that I failed to secure a load. It was like the intermodal load or something like that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that, that PS, that. yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's on your PSP because you got a DLT inspection. Exactly. And that's also, that's on my driver's abstract too as a ticket. That was a ticket. Oh, he gave so you a ticket? On my record. Yes, they gave me a ticket for that. A ticket that so, you had to pay ticket. No, a ticket that I technically have to pay, but the owner ended up paying oh, the for owner, me. Oh, the it, owner had it to pay matter. the ticket, but so it's on, on your record. Okay. Yes, so on my record. Only reason why I'm saying that is because that happened not too long ago. That's the only most recent thing on my record. If I got in any accident that they proved that I, I've done it, then that would be on my driver's abstract. And it's not okay. Okay. Whatever. Um, that's what I was saying. The reason why Brad's trading softly right now is because he he literally doesn't have any proof of me doing anything. And right. the second he tries to say something, act like I've done something, I'm a sue his ass. Yeah, you can. So, yeah, you for uh, defamation. So defamation right, of so, character, which I am going to do, by the way. <laughs> People okay. think I'm playing, but I don't play. I don't. I don't play games, bro. I play. I play, I play them legal you, games, so we're going to keep the collecting win. messages. I got you. I got you. We're we going to keep doing all of that. But here's what I want to tell you, Lockout, and anyone who's listening to you. If I've done something and I'm guilty in the court of law of doing something, bro, I've been real I've been real since I created my channel. Why would I show everybody everything wrong that I've been doing on my channel since the beginning just to do something and not show somebody and be transparent what I've done? That that's, doesn't make any sense. That's a segue uh, into the next question because they saying they, you know, they 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 in this comment session over here saying to you know to expose you, you know, but they they saying that you know you you telling lies about you know about what happened to you at the company, and also why you telling lies. You telling lies at the expense of of 
of old boy getting fired. What, what do you got to say about so that? First one? of all, let me say this. I got this. Is what I got to say about that? That's not my problem that he got fired or let go because he didn't get let go. And the reason why I say let go is because I was just like all of you guys. I didn't know that he even was let go. I didn't know that he was let go until I seen this video. And guess what I did? I caught the owner whose name is Josh. I'm not going to say his last name, but his last, his first name is Josh. And I say, hey, bro, so why'd you let them go? Um, Like, I do realize what's going on right now, but I didn't know that you let them go. And he was like, ah, man, I, I did this and that. I'm like, you do realize that brothers literally made a video kind of like talking about like the company and everything. He was like, I wasn't aware of that, but hey, you know, I don't, I don't tell, pe- I don't tell people's business and all that business and that. But um, Josh, Josh is cool. I'm gonna keep Josh. I'm gonna keep him under wraps for a while because I, I don't think it's no. Yeah, we, we just gonna keep it right there. But right. if I do find out something, it's gonna, it's gonna be a problem. I will say that. All right. So again, uh, again, with 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 the guys in this comment session, uh, kind of like. I I don't know, you know, YouTube, you know, you you YouTube YouTubers, I should say. YouTubers, as you already know, you you have your you have your loyalists because you know they came after me when I made when I made a couple of videos about you. Um uh, and now he got his loyalists. Now, you know, you got you got his loyalists. That's coming over here saying, you know, stuff like, you know, they knew you was a fraud. They knew that you, you know, that you, you had no, no ill, you had <laughs> ill intentions. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking like a fraud. Like, how is this dude a fraud? Like, I mean, you literally exposed every freaking thing that happened to you, man. That's what I'm saying. And here's the thing, Blackout. Just like I told you, I, it's only a little bit I can say, right? But if I am proven to have done something, I will admit that I have done something. No one has proven, not even HB. He has not came out with any evidence or any proof of me doing anything. Now, him getting let go, that's not my problem. That's the problem that him and the owner need to pick up. But what I'm trying to say is, how does me getting into an accident have to do with him getting let go based on an accident that hasn't even been proven of my doing yet? That doesn't make any sense. Good question. You have to be proven of doing something before you can say someone has done something in the court of law. So, just like I said, I want them to keep making videos. I want them to keep running up the comments. I want them to keep doing all that because everything is content. I don't care. You, bro, I've been exposing myself since I created the channel. You think if I did something, it would be easy for me to come out of the and, and chop it up with my followers and be like, hey, bro. So this is what happened. This is why the why what happened. A, you know, I'm I'm human. I'm not perfect. This is what happened. They're gonna still mess with me. When you build a cool following, it doesn't matter. It don't matter if you make a hundred exposing videos because the people who mess with me mess with me before or mess with me because of me and not trucking. I can never make another trucking video again, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be people that still mess with me. So for all these people out there making these exposing videos and all that corny shit, keep making them because we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep doing our thing in the transportation industry. We're going to keep making money. We're going to hit that 20K soon. And y'all little hoes going to be still mad, period. And for everyone who's watching this and who's listening to this right now, I don't mean to step out of my character. I don't mean to, you know, uh, talk unapologetically like this. But you, sometimes you got to you gotta come out and you got to, you got to take off the gloves and let people know to stop playing with you. You can't expose someone who's literally been exposing himself since getting in the trucking industry. Do you, uh, do you not understand? Yes, sir. Bobby reach my G. Hey, so, uh, all I'm saying whew. is this, all I'm saying is this, all I'm saying is this. If I am guilty of doing something, which has not been any proof yet, then okay. I will come out and say, I'm guilty of doing something until then. I have done nothing. I didn't even know that bro lost his job until I caught the owner and he told me that he lost his job. And when everything is settled, I'm going to speak on the owner's part too and them getting let go because I think there's some stuff there too that isn't being chopped up. And the reason why bro's not chopping it up is, is because he can't chop it up without, you know, saying something wrong that can get him 
potentially, you know, and, and, and this is another thing. I know a lot of people are going to listen to this. I got the back for a lawyer. Please believe that I got the back for a lawyer. And I'm willing to literally spend the whole bag to, to make up, to make somebody's life a living hell. I know bro got kids. I know he got a wife. Keep playing with me. Keep playing Bobby, with me. Bobby, man. So you you so best be lawyered up. You best be lawyered up and you best have that bag right because I'm coming after all of it. Bobby, man, let, so let me ask you this before we get on up out of here. So you, 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 uh, of course, you left OTR alone. Um, you, right. you, 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 you getting into brokering. How, how's that going so far? Broker is going great. See, everyone thinks, and here's the thing too, bro. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to give you some exclusive tea right now, right? I appreciate so, it. I literally had, I literally had a, uh, an opportunity to work with a company. I was scheduled to be flown out tomorrow for a new job, right? Everyone just think I quit trucking. Which, by the way, if I was proven to get into an accident, wouldn't you think there'd be a little... I said, if I got into an accident that was proven that I got into an accident, why is it that it's so easy for me to still get a job driving trucking, drive, driving trucks? And furthermore... Even if I did get into an accident, it would be easy. It would still be light work to get a trucking job. It's light work. But that's neither here nor there. What I said was, I literally was scheduled to go to fly out tomorrow. I got a plane ticket right now mm -hmm. that I was scheduled to fly out to a, a certain state to start driving with my new, my new company. I was planning on going regional. I was OTR, but I was planning on going regional because that's what I wanted to do. Um, like, oh, oh, he quit because he got fired. If I quit because I got fired, why would I make a whole video about me not wanting to do OTR no more? I could have just still just been doing OTR. Like, come on now. Anyway, um, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it, so I respectfully decline the offer. And I say, you know what? I'm just going to focus on my brokering stuff. I've been educated by the owner, the last owner that me and AB worked for. He gave me some game. He gave me some game on being like becoming a broker. He told me about the surety bonds. He told me about what all needed. He even told me that brokers are the ones that make the most money. He said truck drivers, especially in this market, they it's hard for them to even make money. And me seeing the owner and what he was going through as far as being an owner operator in this market right now, I'm sure it'd be different if I would have caught on to him like a year or two or three ago. I don't want to become an owner operator in this market right now. My goal was to buy a truck next year. You know, I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to drive for a company. I'm going to stack up my bread, stack up my chips. I'm going to learn these roles. And then hopefully by the time next year, December comes, hopefully the the uh, the market, you know, our, our economy will have gotten a lot better. And these trucks will get will have gotten a lot cheaper. And these rates will go up and, these, and, and so on and so forth. But I don't want to sit driving for a whole year hoping that that's going to happen. What I want to do judging by, or not judging, but going off what the owner taught me, being that brokers are the ones that are in direct contact with the shipper, a.k.a. the plug, I want to gain the skill. I want to learn I want to learn to talk to these shippers. I want to learn the lingo. I want to learn how to calculate these rates. I want to learn to be the middleman between the shipper and the carrier, a.k.a. the truck driver, so that next year, if everything does go my way, or even the year after that, I have acquired a skill that now allows me to go directly to the plug, go directly to the shipper, and when I decide to buy my own truck, I can book my loads directly from the source straight to my drivers as opposed to doing what, the, what every other truck driver is doing right now. They're booking the load through the DAT board. They're getting raped by these brokers right now. They're, they, they're another expense is coming through the, the uh, dispatcher. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I can set myself up in the best possible position so when I do buy a truck, I don't have to worry about the same expenses and so on and so forth like every other owner operator and that's my reason behind doing this brokering stuff and i'm going to be successful at it i hired a mentor put the bag down for him i bought the course i've been studying i already got my llc i already got my business bank account i already got my duns number i already i'm already building business bank account to fund my our bank credit so i can fund my business we about to turn up so for all those who think that i'm about to just disappear because you want to Make an exposure video, you about to be really, really upset, bro, because I'm gonna go from 20K to 30K 
to 40K to that 100,000, and you hoes are still going to be hating out there. And I'm, I'm talking about stuff today. That's what's up, man. Hey, last, last, last thing before you get up out of here, because I know you're busy, bro, and I really do appreciate you giving me the time, man. Thank you very much. You guys know the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man podcast show. Bobby, man, look, uh, as as in this comment session, uh, a, a few people uh, that, that was commenting says that uh, uh, one of the commenters said that they didn't like you. They said that you mm-hmm. had you have a malicious smile. <laughs> <laughs> I, to- I told you, I man. I, I, to- I, I told I told you. I told you that smile was going to get you in trouble, didn't I? <laughs> man. Hey, lockout. Here's the funny part. Everybody that doesn't, this is how predictable people are. Everybody that's in Bruff's comment section right now, I have literally blocked from my channel. Every, like, everybody. I'm not going to say no names, but literally everybody I blocked from my channel because they're trolls and because they're, aka in my opinion, haters are in his comment section right now. So the first opportunity that that's they seen that is. somebody was trying to expose Bobby Reach, mm-hmm. that's exactly what they did. They went over there and hopped on it. So guess what? I didn't gain over, what, 200 new new supporters on my channel since he made that video. So keep doing your exposing. All publicity is good publicity. Everything is content. Run up your bag. Y'all little trolls go over there and have a little troll party. And keep crying hater tears because Bobby Reach ain't going nowhere. We're going to still make content. We're we going to still be creative. We're going to still run up the bag. I'm going to still inspire and motivate people. I'm going to do everything I set out to do in this transportation industry. And they just going to get mad. Man, and if you're mad, uh, come do something about it. That's, that's what I've been saying all this time about YouTube and how... You know, and how people people is they go over to your video, they they go over to the video, they they watch you, listen to you, pay attention to you, then go over to the other video because somebody said the name, then they'll run over to the other side and be like, yo, bro, bro says your name. So that's gonna have him to come back to you, look at you and see what you said, so he can make a response video. The only way the video, the only way the content or the only way they channel is going to grow is because of the response back and forth. That's what it always been. Exactly. It's been like that in YouTube for years. Man. It's been like Lockout. that for years. All I- you guys got to do is go book. Exactly. You lost your CDL, everything is content, and everything, a video can be made about anything, and you can always make money off of it. Simple. I literally made, one of my biggest videos is, is getting pulled over by a freak. All my biggest videos were negative. I got a DOT violation, the two million views. I got pulled over by an officer for, for, for stealing a trailer, allegedly. Uh, bought a, almost two or three racks off of that video. I don't care. Keep exposing, bro, because when I start making videos, I'm just going to keep making money off y'all dumb asses. Keep doing it. That's what's up. Bobby Reach, y'all. Yo, thank you, bro, for the time. I really do appreciate you uh, hopping back on and giving and, and, and uh, chopping it up with me again, man. Definitely stay safe out there. Keep doing you, Bobby, man. That, that's all I can say. Just, just, just keep doing you, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Hey, stay tuned, man, because we, we got some stuff coming, man. I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to really run it up right now, bro. We about to, we about to go crazy.
say this real fast, lockout. I don't know what I stand for and what my movement is. My movement is to keep reaching no matter what obstacle, no matter what you were going through. I was in my car and I literally, I literally took myself from living in the car, being dead broke to literally building a brand to literally bettering myself in life. I literally was at the bottom, the complete bottom. And I literally picked myself up in a moment of desperation. I made some of myself and I'm still going to make some of myself. I'm young and I'm about to, I'm going to be great. So what my point is saying that is this whole thing I created, the team reach, the reach game, this reach movement, it don't matter, y'all. Anything that you want to do, I don't care what anything happens in life. I don't care if trucking was even, was never an option for me ever again. I'm going to keep reaching. And I advise you guys to keep reaching because in life, all of us are going to have moments when we're completely down. Everybody has those moments. But as long as you keep reaching and you keep going, you can never fail. And that's why somebody like me will never lose in life. Bro, I was getting the bag before I even got in trucking, and I'm going to keep getting the bag. So that's my last thing I want to tell all of your listeners right now, bro. Keep reaching. And if you keep reaching, it's nothing that you can't, uh, it's nothing that you can't accomplish in this world. And that's my thing, reaching higher heights. All Never right. Reach. I appreciate you, bro. Hey, Bob, man, I thank you very you. much. And uh, we'll get back with each other again, man. I got you, my brother.